I got some fantastic news for gamers today. Let's talk about it. That's right, I got a couple of absolutely incredible stories that you guys are gonna love today, so let's not waste any time, let's get right into it. And the first one is in regards to the RTX 4080, that's right, the infamous RTX 4080 that everybody seems to hate. Now, it's not because the card is bad or anything, in fact, I think that the RTX 4080 is an absolutely fantastic GPU, but it's because the 4080's price is so dang high when compared to the RTX 3080 that a lot of people really dislike this card. I mean, going from $700 to $1,200 in just one generation is absolutely insane. So I understand why people are so upset in choosing not to purchase the 4080. And it looks like it's starting to pay off because yes, 4080s do seem to actually be sitting in stock in a lot of physical locations like Micro Center. Now, if you look online, they're a little bit more difficult to get, although you can typically pick up some sort of 4080 on like Newegg or Amazon like that if you look basically every single day. So clearly they are nowhere near as popular as the RTX 4090, which is absolutely fantastic news. But to make things better, it looks like scalpers are getting hit even harder when it comes to the 4080, which honestly serves them right now. This information I grabbed from a videocards.com article. Let's take a look at the image and then we'll talk about it. So there was an image posted where it shows a scalper who said that, quote, market isn't what I thought. So instead of sending back to manufacturers, you can get them MSRP for me. Still very hard to get these cards receipts in hand and all are sealed brand new untouched and the listing is for 4080s various gpus brand new sealed all being returned offering msrp within the next five days you better hurry guys because you have the privilege to spend 1200 dollars on an 80 class gpu for the first time ever not only from a retailer but straight from a scalper Woo, baby what a deal not so obviously yeah that's not a good deal it's almost written as if he's doing you a solid or something but realistically we all know that nobody really wants an rtx 40 at 1200 dollars now, if it's your only card you can buy, then I have seen some people who basically felt like they were backed into a corner because they wanted something faster than a 3090, but they couldn't get a 4090. And then those people did choose to buy a 4080 when they could find it at MSRP. But even then, it's still quite the sting to be picking up this card for realistically way more money than it really should be. And I definitely wouldn't be picking one up from a scalper even at MSRP. That's just absolutely ridiculous. But this is an absolutely great story because it just goes to show you that scalpers really thought that they were going to get something this time. I mean, they really went in and thought, yeah, people are going to pay me $2,000 for a 480. Yeah, not going to happen, buddy. So I think I've actually been seeing similar things around me too, where all of a sudden they keep lowering and lowering the price. They're trying to go back and return them. In some cases, stores are not accepting returns anymore. I think there was something over on Newegg that I read in this videocards.com article where apparently they <laughs> aren't accepting uh, like returns anymore for the 4080 so clearly that's a problem where scalpers are going out trying to resell them finding out they can't and then trying to return them so hopefully they get stuck holding the bag so that next time around they think twice before they try and go out and purchase gpus in mass like they have done in the past but now let's go ahead and talk about the second story that i want to go over with you guys today and this is in regards to a new series of ryzen cpus that's right we're going to be talking about the 3d ryzen processors which honestly guys i think a lot of people are very very excited for these cpus and for good reason and i have some new updates on these processors that might shock you because if we remember last time around it was a pretty limited run you could really only get it in the eight core but this time around there's gonna be some very interesting surprises in store if this rumor is to be believed so let's take a look at it now i got this information once again over at videocards.com i'll have a link in the description below so you can go ahead and read the whole article but if we take a look here we can see that apparently amd ryzen 7000 x 3d is coming at ces 2023 and three variants now some of this information was originally posted over on twitter by harokaze5719 and if we take a look at what he said he said, quote, they shared three exclusive Zen 4 3D info. One, three Ryzen 7000 X3D models are confirmed, 16, 12, and eight cores. 
but about the A-Core model, it isn't determined model name, whether it's gonna be the 7700X3D or the 7800X3D. And personally, guys, I think they're gonna go with 7800X3D. But then he says, apparently, unlike Zen 3, 3D clock speed will be the same or at least almost the same. And then third, it is expected on January 23rd, so CES. And then below that, Hassan actually responded, who works over at WCCF Tech by saying, let me add one more exclusive info. All X3D parts are 170 watts. So there we have it, a lot of very exciting information about these upcoming Ryzen 7000 3D processors, which again, a lot of people are very excited for because these 3D processors are gonna be probably a pretty big jump in terms of gaming performance over their non-3D parts. We saw a similar thing with the Zen 3 parts, and I would not be surprised at all to see a similar thing once again with the Zen 4 parts, where yeah, the gaming improvements are gonna be significant and and not only that, but this time around, we're going to get a 16 core and a 12 core CPU, which is absolutely fantastic news because I think a lot of people, myself included, were very disappointed that last time around there was only an 8 core model because yes, 8 cores is realistically, it's enough to do whatever you want these days. However, for creators or people who want to do maybe a little bit extra on the side, 12 or even 16 cores can be an improvement for certain workloads that they're going to be doing. And so for those people, you might actually have an option this time around to get a 3D processor, which I think is going to make these X3D processors even more popular than they were last time around, especially considering that you don't have to buy the top of the top DRAM to get the best performance out of these CPUs. Now, getting better DRAM will always make your CPU have better performance, even if it has a ton of cash, but it's gonna have less of an impact that it would have on a CPU that has less cash. So in a way, if you really want to, yes, you can actually spend less on your DRAM and more on your CPU and still get more performance, which is actually really good for a lot of gamers out there who don't wanna spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars just buying a kit of RAM when they can spend it on other things like a GPU that are just more important. So there you have it. A lot of really exciting stuff is going to be coming out at CES. And by the way, I will be attending CES as well, whether they want me to or not. So ready or not, here I come, baby. So I'll be there. Make sure you're subscribed so you get a bunch of updates while I'm at CES. But in any case, that's all I have to say for today. And I just can't wait to get my hands on these Ryzen 7000 3D CPUs. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that Ryzen 7000 really will have 3D processors in 16 cores? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.